Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to Taviana and to the main part of my base. In today's episode I will try to show you the special weapons quest, how to get the special custom guns from Igor the gunsmith and what you will need. Perhaps you have wondered what those unknown gun parts are and what they are for. Perhaps you have never heard of Igor the gunsmith even though you have played the game for some time. There is really no way of knowing about this quest except meeting one of the brothers by accident or by hearing rumors from fellow survivors. First of all, we are going to the tanker exchange. I can start by saying that you will need quite a lot of rare items to actually get the weapons, both building materials and rare food items. In the end of the video, I will leave descriptions of exactly what you need and where to find it. The story is this. Shortly after the zombie apocalypse, a Taviana tanker was on its way to dock at Dalnagorsk's port. What was caught in a storm and was totally wrecked. The remains of the ship were washed up on a small reef in the Baltic Sea, to the east of Taviana Zoo, and far from the main islands. Like a miracle, some of the crew survived, and there was also a huge amount of supplies left in the wreck, including weapons, medicine, food and building supplies. The surviving crew members built a well-defended camp using the wreck as walls. After some time, this place became known as the Tanker Exchange, where fighting, murder and theft were strongly forbidden, and it was the most prosperous location in the zombie apocalypse. This is the place where you can find Ivan, brother of Igor the gunsmith, and persuade them to build you the best weapons of all times. But you will have to pay the price or Ivan will send you to hell. Or at least he says so. Anyway, now we must find Ivan at the tanker exchange and convince him to tell us where his brother Igor is. To convince Ivan, we will have to give him a number of rare food items and the food items he wants changes every restart. There is no way of knowing what he is going to want. The dialogue is pretty quick here, but basically he tells me what food items he wants, and he's a pretty rude guy. You really should consider who he is talking to. This time he wants three Coslina beers, three survival food packs, three canned sprouts in tomato sauce, and one bottle of wine. This is the food he wants this time. Give food and drinks to the captain. God damn that's good. You'll find my brother at these coordinates. 169, 210. It's down here, this industrial area, right here.
here we are. This is one of the no less than 14 locations I have been able to confirm as Igor's hideouts. There may be more locations, I don't know, and I can't find anything about it anywhere. This server's website lists only 8 of them, so, well... And this is his exact location. Let's build some weapons, and let's hope it doesn't screw up too much. Igor says, oh, thank god I met a survivor. I've been looking for materials to repair my boat for a long time. Here's a list of what I need. Screws, metal supports, metal tubes, central carburetors, aluminum sheets, scrap connectors, and... What are you doing here? I've been sent by Ivan. I want to modify my weapons. Igor says, I can help you. What kind of weapon do you want to create? Put these materials into my box, and I'll try to help you. Each try will cost you a pack of screws. I want to start with trying to create the Type 64S. And he screwed up. Well, let's try it again. Yay! Success! And we have a brand new Type 64 Yes. Very good gun. It has a magazine of 30 rounds. That's insane for a sniper rifle. <laughs> Next up, we'll try to create the best gun in the game. The Fusil GM 7.62 SD mod. It's just really good. There we have it. The best gun in the game. The Fusil SD. While I'm peacefully trying to create some weapons here, Dr. Ivan came by and made a mess. But um, now we're going for the MK48 Mod A. A more powerful version of the Mod Zero. And he screwed up again. Luckily I brought a lot of screws. So... Nailed it. Or screwed it. I don't know. Next up, the M249 scope. As you can see, for these machine guns, uh, you also need to bring a weapon. For the three sniper rifles, you need the unknown gun parts. And for the machine guns, you need no gun parts, but you need the basic weapons instead. Forty-nine scope. First time I ever built it, actually. Now we're going for the RPK seventy-four M scope. Uh, this is the least good gun of these, if that's an expression. Uh, it only has forty-five round magazine. Which is not very good for a machine gun. 
But on the other hand, I can zero it to a thousand meters and it has built in night vision. So that's pretty good. And last but not least, we are going to create, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but the PKP Pekinag. It's a really beast of a gun. And once again we have a success. And I have now created six of the seven guns. I will not create the Fusil F2 mod in this video because I simply didn't have the parts for it. It's almost like the Fusil GM 7.62 SD mod, but without the silencer. Now let's try these guns. This is the Type 64S. See, nice sight, and uh, we can zero it up to a thousand meters, and it has a built-in night vision scope. This is the Fusil SD. Very good sight, really like this. A thousand meters, awesome. And remember to shoot zombies in the head and not in the legs. That will do it. And this is the built-in night vision. So here is the MK48 Model A. Also a very nice gun and zeroing up to a thousand meters and night vision. And this is the 249 scope. So pretty nice sights, and it's zeroing up to a thousand, which really is insane for a machine gun. And you can see, built-in night vision scope. This is the very long RPK 74M scope. The one with a 45 round magazine, and as you can see, 1000 meter and night vision. Pretty good sights, too, really. And this, this is the big beast, the PKP Pekinag. Very good sights, a uh, thousand meter zeroing, and we have the uh, night vision scope as well, built in. That's it. I think you've been listening to my voice long enough now, so I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And also remember to watch in the end. Uh, where I put up all the stuff you need. See you next one. People chasing stars, stop and wonder who they really are. But this
circles keep on closing around.